Hey yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Before we begin this video, I have created a guild on solo blocks leveling. No matter what level you are, you can join. Solo blocks leveling discord for the guild is going to be in the description below. Also, my fan group discord is going to be in the description below. So join those two for the guild. We do giveaways, we do raids, we help like newbies to dungeons. So like if you are a newbie, joining the guild will be nice for you. We are still brand new, so join that and yeah let's get on with the video so welcome back to another video guys today i'm gonna be doing a starter guide from what i know about this game it may not be the best but it's really helpful there may be better ones before so i'm on my thanos snaps you account right here because thanos is cool so here we have the class customization you want to do these before anything else display customize join friends codes go to customize swordsman assassin mage tank healer and archer the swordsman class all you we already know like have you was like so sword out online that's what a swordsman is assassin well if you watch if you read solo leveling you should know what assassin is it's literally in the name mage who doesn't know what a mage is tank healer okay everybody should know this okay so uh what i suggest for like beginners is either healer or archer archer is broken in pvp and healer like you it'll help you solo a lot of dungeon because you can like heal yourself to max and it has range attack tank is literally useless in this game literally any class can solo like dungeons once they are they're like 30 levels above assassin is pretty good for uh, for dungeons and stuff but i wouldn't suggest it for pvp uh mage archer healer those three are my top suggestions if you really want to go far go for archer mage mage is just like damage it goes good with the tank but it's not the best healer healer and archer are the two i suggest so on this account since i already have an archer and an assassin i am gonna go for a healer class uh well just customize here things i'm gonna i'm gonna become purple thanos oh man i can't turn purple whoa okay tan tan boy anyways let's save that so make sure you guys choose your class before going into the game so once you choose your class you press play the code there aren't, aren't really any codes right now other than the class reset code which just lets you reset your class but it's, there is no point in using that if you already have a class you like and don't want to restart all right guys so now i am in the tutorial it's just basic tutorials this is a quest guy question mark exclamation mark like information buy stuff I forgot what that dude is, but these are all essentially useless at the moment. WASD, B to open bag, yeah. WASD to move, double tap, W to like dash, and double tap and hold. D if you want to go further, double tap, jump, and press Q. It makes you go further. Q is like a front row. You can also roll to the side like that. Anyways, dash that. B here we have your basic weapons. You left click it and then you click here to equip weapons armor you don't get any armor or items so for all your classes strength is good for uh tank and swordsman that oh sorry yeah tank and swordsman agility is good for archer and assassin and intelligence is good for mage and healer so you only want to in increase the one your class is in because others don't really increase your class vitality mp and sp sp i suggest not upgrading that too much right now because the armor gives you a lot but like you need enough to like sprint mostly in like c rank dungeons because they are but mp i'd highly recommend this because this is what the skills use vitality you need enough to survive in dungeons of course i i suggest doing like a three to two ratio like three on your main thing and then just keep putting two on different things until you get armor then you can just reset it for twenty thousand one, which is pretty easy to get in this game not gonna lie to you so you just want to run through the thing till you get to the exit which is on this end you want to run right into the middle it will teleport you to the main city and let's load in so we are in the main city so here we have the tutorial dude if you didn't get your weapon go through the tutorial again and you can find it in your weapons category in your inventory which is B. this dude it's just lacking hunters or miners we are lucky enough hunters so if you don't if you didn't get a hunter class you can choose that this this dude sells your well armor if you don't have level one armor it costs five thousand one you start off with zero so it's very hard to do that so i just 
recommend doing a couple of E-Rank gates before you get those armor. Reset stats, that, that's if you accidentally under- oh, it's 50,001, still nothing. Class manager, you want to reset your class, then you can do that. And then special shock, this guy just sells like, yeah, starter gear, but it costs robots. So I wouldn't recommend buying that because it's not worth it. Um, devs don't hate me, but like, I'm telling the truth here. Uh, now let's continue on to the city. So, warning, dungeons. Dungeons has spawned. You want to see those. So like, for level 1, you can do E rank dungeons, and you can do C rank dungeons. But I wouldn't recommending, recommend doing a C rank dungeon solo. If you want someone to carry you, you gotta be in the party to gain XP, and you can do that. For B rank dungeons, you need to be over level 50. So you can't join someone that's like low 100 and you're like low 1 and join an A rank dungeon. It doesn't work like that. It just won't teleport you, but will teleport them. Uh, a rank dungeon is level 100 plus, and then red gates is level 250 plus. If you guys want tutorials on how to solo dungeons, check out my other video how to solo, well, do all gates. That one will help you a lot. So that's literally the basics. So for as you can see here, you will have four skills to start off with. Here. Level 1, level 20, level 40, level 60. You can edit your skill. It's right here. 1, 2. I, that's what I do because it's like right at my disposal. And you healer, you press F to take out your weapon. You can't use skills in here, but yeah. Before we enter any dungeons, I'm going to show you guys at the current moment there are scrolls in this game. Uh, every 50 scrolls you can exchange for items. You can also trade these scrolls for the solo blocks in the solo blocks Discord where people accept scrolls for items. So you can do that. Uh, to join the solo blocks Discord, you can check the description below. I will post their Discord in there too. But if you guys really want like help and items in the game, make sure you join our guild, which will be in the description below as well. D someone might help you or carry you through dungeons. You just want to join all those. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the best way to level up for a level 1. So, let's say you're level 1 and no one is willing to carry you, right? So, and you can't, you literally can't solo any dungeons. Because, well, you're bad. No offense, but you're a noob. Yeah, so what you wanna do is first exit the gate right there, go straight, turn right. You'll see the construction site, just keep going right. There's a lot of construction sites, that means those are stuff that are coming in the future. And you want to go right till you see this construction site. There's a guy that gives a quest, right here. You talk to him, accept. And then you can press this thing right here to check out your quest. Talk to Angar at the construction site, it says that. So you want to get that quest from him, go this way. Just keep on running. You want to increase your stamina as much as possible, as soon as possible at the moment. But not too much, because you also need it on other places, because I have on intelligence. You want to run that way? Oh. So I was, the construction this way, you want to run that way, go down here, and then turn here. And then go straight, and here we are. So you go to this big construction site. The person that you need to talk to is this guy. He's the dad. You do share, you get the quest, and then you go back here. You collect 20 of them. Okay guys, so here we are at the 20th collection. So I have skipped over. Uh, you hold the E to collect these. Like that, and they have a pretty fast spawn rate. So you can check your thing by clicking this once it says 20 out of 20. Uh, I don't think you talk to this guy, I think you go back. So this is why you need stamina, because pressing Q will help you go back a lot faster. And it takes like 20 points per Let's see, will I make it there? 20, I have one more jump. Oh, I can almost make it. If I had like 40 more, I could probably make it all the way there. With just So I suggest getting like 160 stamina. Accept him. Congratulations, level 4. That gives you 400. I mean, sorry, 600 XP, I think. So that 600 XP, and then the dun earring dungeon, fully clearing it, solo. Will give you 1600, I'm pretty sure, or 1400 to 1600. That's what it gives you. Upgrade this to SP 190. Okay, now I have enough. You can keep doing this to and keep grinding SP to your like level 20 or 30. Because once you're that level, you can solo C rank dungeons. So I'm gonna show go into a E rank dungeon 
Oh, it's over there and show you guys some tips. If you really want to solo a E rank dungeon, make sure you check out the video like I said before that I made in the past. It will help you a lot. Mostly for the boss. Okay guys, here we are in the dungeon. So as you can see up here it says total mob zero out of thirty and collected crystals zero. So these are the crystals that you that can that you collect. A miner can collect these actually. If you guys want to know how to become a miner, I'll post that in a different video. But this right here is crystal that like if you want red solo leveling you get crystals you sell those or like upgrade stones whatever so these can be turned into upgrade stones which i will show you, you the place later in the video but right now you can also exchange scroll for a rank essence stones which upgrade your weapons once you do it at the shop i'll show you that and they give more stats you can upgrade weapons and armors with those and for dungeons you, there's literally a walkway here and you kill the mobs you left click for attack right there and you press your thing but make sure look here's what this here this is why it's best to have a range attack you can keep moving forward that'll help you solo dungeons a lot i recommend getting them together as long as you are able to get them together and dodge them properly you're fine Oh, no, I did not dodge them properly. Whoops. Here we go. It goes, literally goes through the items. Boom. There, I got XP. That's what they do. So, completing a dungeon gives you armor, weapon, or items. At the moment, you can only get scrolls from E rank dungeons. And having 50 scrolls, can, you can exchange for items. Weapons, they'll have a uh, type, class, level on them, and stat. As you can see, intelligence increases healer, that's why only intelligence is given. Type wand and class healer. You need to be of level to like equip the item, and you need to have the same class. If you want to equip a different item, you right click it, right click this, till it goes. So, the game is a little buggy, but oh, you had to have it on a cut, sorry. There we go, you have to have it unequipped and they all unequip. And if you want to equip it, you left click it, click it here, gain your items. So if you die, complete a dungeon, a gate will spawn, and if you die, this is what will happen. Dungeon will end if no hunter will revive. Reviving costs like 50 Robux. It's a pretty good deal, I'm not gonna lie. Well, if you're rich, I'm broke. So that, once you complete the dungeon, a gate will spawn and that gate will lead you back to the city and you will gain a status out of that titles don't do anything other than make you look sick okay dragon slayer like imagine having dragon slayer above your name that's sick all right guys so i am back in the city and as you can see i gained some one you don't have to complete a dungeon to gain money you just have to get rid of mods to gain money so yeah and if you're asking if you can sell stuff no you cannot you can only trade items at the moment maybe the developers will implement this in the future but yeah oh if you guys were following where i'm going as you can see that's the 100 grounds you get out of the gate over there you go this way and you go this way oh sorry you go up here and you go up a little more <laughs> and you turn wait just a little more there we go till you go there till you see this building right here with the dollar sign on it you go here, you get into here, and this is what the upgrade crystals are used for. You can trade 30 for C rank, and 30 of those for B rank, and 6 for, yeah, and then 90 for A rank. That's how you get the upgrade crystals. It's really hard to get these, so miners in the future are going to be really helpful. But right now, I recommend using scrolls to roll if you really need essence stones or trade them in the Discord. This is where you can upgrade your things, so, oh. Unequip. No, unequip. Weapon. Oh, looks like. Yeah, there we go. You have to have a weapon. Put it here. And then you. If you can't add an item, it's probably because you have something selected and you had to unselect that. And you need an essence stone. And it costs 20,000 won per upgrade. So I wouldn't recommend upgrading anything level below level like 250. Unless you're blowing really slowly and you have a lot of money and essence stones to spare but that's my recommendation 
uh, if you go to K and you press Goss, you will have nothing here. So what you need for these is runes. You can get runes from trading, buying, from like players in the Discord below of solo blocks leveling, or you can check in our guild to see if anyone has. I know I'm seeing guild a lot, but like join the guild. If you don't get me hinting at you, join the guild. Anyways, you can do that. Uh, runes you can get from red gates or a iron gates as well. There's four runes. There's stealth, dominator's touch, spatial awareness, and full recovery. Full recovery is really good for soloing dungeons. Uh, stealth has like 15 seconds of invisibility where you can like, once you group a bunch of mods, you use that and you can just kill them instantly. Dominator's touch does a lot of damage to players and mobs. And f did I say full recovery? It just fully heals you. Yeah, I think I said all. Oh, spatial awareness is like shows you nearby mobs around you. It's pretty useless to be honest, but like, yeah. Oh, what is this? Okay, let me rejoin these guides. Uh, I think I have explained everything that you need in this game. To get items, you can trade or you can buy level 1 items at the shop. But other than that, you can't buy items. For a higher level, you had to do dungeon or trade. Uh, e ranks gives level 1 to 50 items, C rank is level 1 to 50 items, B rank is 50 to 100, A rank is 100 to 250, and uh, red gives 250 plus. And you can't sell any items you have at the moment, like I said earlier. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed the starter guide, make sure you guys subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a like on the video, and if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below, or join the kill, like I said before. Join one of the discords, uh, my fan group, Solo blocks leveling and the guild. The guild you can only be in one guild at a time. Remember that, guys. Don't join any other guilds. And uh, you can ask questions there. You can get help there. You can trade there. You can have auction items there. That's all. Anyways, guys. See you guys in the next video.